Welcome back to another edition of Dante's PvP Souls. That's right, I am back out of the grave, out of the death zone, just a little bit. Getting better, but also getting worse at the same time. It's a lot of fun. Either way, I'm here live streaming on twitch.tv forward slash Dante WTFUN, and I'm ready to take the battle axe, heavy battle axe to be exact, with the A scaling to people's skulls. But what court sorcerer's staff? But why ever would I do that? Probably because um i'm gonna buff this weapon but uh bless this added bonus healing and i don't know maybe i'll throw out a parry or two exile mask for arm armor alva gauntlets and a drake but blood leggings not the worst fashion souls i've had in my life scholar ring for more intelligence Let, let's see the buff here 217 i take the scholar ring off let's see the buff it's 199 that's an 18 point buff i don't know how what that relates to as the actual buff but I'm excited to try that out. Um, I do need to switch the spells now that I think about it. Because I have Lightning Blade now. But I'm looking to do Crystal Magic Blade or whatever the hell it is. Either way, I'm here and I'm ready. I do about 10 fights in the Pontiff Solar Van area. Don't buff my character. Will buff my weapon. And part of the reason... Now, normally I wouldn't buff the weapon. But part of the reason is Battle Axe is quite short. And I know I'm not going to get that many hits. Because the weapon art is pretty trash. Uh, so, I sort of... I don't need the damage, but I feel like I have a much better chance with the damage because I feel like getting hits is going to be severely limited, which is unfortunate because this axe is just not as good as most other axes. It's just very short. <coughs> That's my issue with it. But anyways, let's see how I do. Round one against Mateo Blanco. I don't know about this uh, guy's connection only because of his name already let's see how much more damage 640 wow that's over 200 extra damage uh see the problem is if he hits me once i'm in bad shape wow 652 r1s ah. this is not an easy weapon to deal with Wow, that range. Are you kidding me? He hit me from very far away. I can't even believe it. What the hell is this? I don't care about that guy. Look, he's never going to attack either. Oh my god. This guy, the latency is pretty crazy though. Get him. Oh, that was a lot, a lot more difficult than it should have been, honestly. I mean, they were, re it was weird. They were actually really waiting for me to do everything, and they did no running attacks, which was a little bit bizarre, because running attacks is one of the better parts of that weapon. Um, luckily, they didn't buff it. I probably would have died, although they did still do massive damage. Round two against MPOC. Now, will I be able to hit them? That's the question. Wow, what kind of life are they living? Oh, I'm actually a little surprised at the end. I don't understand. Um, ah, I don't get that. Not satisfying whatsoever. Round three against Skip to my Nash. What does he have? What is, is that a uh, curve sword or a? Uh, I can't believe I missed. Ugh. Damn. <laughs> Bastard trying to bury me. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> I think he just kept trying to parry me. Honestly, I think, I think he was joking around because he. All right, round four, ladies and gentlemen. WWE boy, holy crap! A sixty-one-year-old. Uh huh. Oh what? Wow, I blocked all that. I didn't think it was gonna go for. All right, this guy doesn't know it. Wow, I mean, nice bait attempt, but the axe is a little bit too fast. I don't know. That may have worked with the great sword. Uh, maybe even a katana. Although our katana's as fast as axes, I'm not sure. Round five against BCB. Uh, I mean, I'm doing good damage, but to get the hits is really tough. So, like, I gotta wait for this guy. Oh, what the hell are they doing? What the hell? I guess I was early. Uh, I mean, I don't care if you buff. They did that in the beginning. To the city. I got pretty lucky on that. Luckily, they didn't, they didn't swing again. Oh, really? Yeah, flawless. I mean, I don't know. These people need to know, man. They need to know. Round six, I think, against something. Hey, Nash. Nash, how little were you trying when you fought me? <laughs> Seriously, just trying to parry. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get him out of here. I don't want to take none of that guff. The latency on that was pretty disgusting. Um, it was pretty bad. Round eight against Juicy Adams. Let's do this. Oh, let's see. I knew I was going to win that. No. Oh, wow. I just want to do a fully charge R2. I just wanted to do it. Oh, crap. That's me. Get him out of here. I did, like I was going damage for damage. I was doing more damage. They may have had the hyper armor, but I was just doing way too much damage for them. So I figured I'd tangle a little bit because they weren't really doing anything fancy. Round 10, I think, against Umid. Uh-oh. Damage versus damage. Magic first magic. Oh, I almost had it in a row. Come on, buddy. Three, two, and you're dead. I told you, man. Like effing clockwork, okay? Flawless victory. Told you it was gonna be three, two, and then dead. All right, round 11 against Mekan Sol. All right, let's go. Come on. Ain't got time to waste. Whoa! Hello! Wow. Ha! <laughs> you know if he's using that attack, either he's me or he's terrible. Yeah, it's called attacking. How is this guy doing? Damn, man. Oh, Duh. get him out of my face! Don't want to take any of that crap, especially that terrible of internet. Holy hellzos! Round eleven. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. This thing sucks.
Okay, I I am confused at the caliber of players right now. Holy hell. All right, round 14 against Phantom Mentor. Hopefully this time they get the Membo to buff now, buff now, buff now. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Oh my god. Come on. That didn't hit him, huh? Please buff. Oh. That didn't hit him, huh? Yeah, I mean, this guy did pretty decent damage, but, uh, damn. I don't know. I don't understand. Come on, people. Play better than this. Round 15 or something against WWE Boy. Uh-oh. I fought him earlier. Still playing. Still playing the game. The game of games. He swings out, though. Ooh. That's another flawless to add to the books. Jumping attack. OP, ladies and gentlemen. No one ever expects it. Take it down. Round. I don't know. 18. This is going to be the hardest fight guaranteed I've had probably all day. Well, Nash should have been the hardest fight, but hyper armor. Oh, you son of a. Oh. Damn it. I had to wait for him. Why is that Hyper Armor crazy? I'd rather have this. Oh, he got me with it. Damn. Oh, I do more damage than them. I did not think they were going to do that. I truly thought they, I mean, honestly, they tricked me, making me think they were going to parry. So I waited for the parry. They didn't do it, and they just did two R ones, and I died. Straight up. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Round 18 or something against Term Lance, CJ. I'm trying to remember if Term Lance has a good connection or not. Woo! 360 damage. Oh, come on. Where was that? Oh, nice. That was kind of crap, though. There it is. I knew I'd get him on that. I mean, the range can be interesting, but they got to roll the way he rolled. Anyways, round 18. Let's do this. Ant. W, 99. He's one-handing, which is a mistake. Oh, I'll damage him. Whoa! Okay, connection. I can't get two R1s. You kidding me? Oh, that looked good. Got him. I knew I'd get him with that one. Woo! Flawless! Hello! Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. They're uh, hyper armor if I attack early. That's what I was trying to do. Anyways, round. That was done by me. I guess they, they took us so much damage. They're dead. Whatever. <laughs> get him out of here. I, like, what? I, like, that didn't matter to me. I don't care if you hit me with the whole thing. I know you're running out of stamina, and I know I'm going to get at least one free hit, especially when you have no armor. Get him out of my face. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Painted Randoms is looking for another build, and already I can see I hate it because I don't know what to do. He just has counters upon counters. <laughs> I have to run like an asshole. Ah, that hit me. Suck knife, 21 damage! 21 damage! Oh, I thought I... 
I wonder where the... Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Ah, it, it's all about that timing, but this is too slow. It's freaking too slow, man. <laughs> How do I get in? Oh, man. No. No. Damn it, I ran out of juice. Oh, come on. Come on, I ran out of juice. Ah, just do it. What are you gonna do? <laughs> nope. I know that weapon a little bit too good. Oh, man, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Ah! Ah, suck knife! Suck knife! Oh. oh, oh, you son of this son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man, bastard, bastard, going against painted randoms again, ladies and gentlemen. It's a tough matchup because I gotta play like an asshole, and I don't like that. At the run. See, how I didn't hit him there is bizarre. Ah. Uh, what? Oh. It's just trying to be aggressive. I gotta be aggressive with the axe, but I can't. Uh. Yes, that makes it makes so much sense that even when I pre-attack, I still can't hit you. Mm. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I can't even roll through it with that dagger. I could have tried to R1. That would have been a trade, but then I would have daggered, got daggered down. All right, last one with painted randoms here. I'm not going to use Perseverance or any of that scrub crap. Hyper Armor, I feel like, does mess this up, though. Hey, I just got to get out of the damn corner. And I have to wait for him. Ah. Suck knife. Suck knife. That was unlucky by me, to say the least. Damn it, man. Oh. How am I not? I don't know, man. I'm like trying to get the perfect timing here. Ah, it's just like I, I can't get it. Wow, that's a combo? Jesus Christ. I didn't know the R2 comboed in the weapon art. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to space it right on the side of it to get the running attack, but, like, I... I, I gotta play that really slow in order to get some hits in. I mean, damn this thing. This axe just can't... It can't get in quick enough. It can't. Round something against Juicy Adams again. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there is a difference in spacing and rolling. According to everybody, they say there's advantages and disadvantages, but I don't know. Uh, you're only one-handed. Nope, sorry.
Oh, come on. Ah, come on. I go and fight Painted with his, like, build I can't get in. And then I fight a guy who doesn't even know what they're doing. Ugh. Oh. All right, round a billion against Liquid Fox again. Uh oh, is he using damage? Well, ish. Axe now. I I might have the advantage in damage here. I don't know. Oh. So he can hit me first. Okay, that's. I didn't know that. I thought we were gonna trade. We didn't even trade. I just lost. I thought it was the same time. So, actually, the speed of Twin Axes is faster, or is it... That's ah, weird. Round a billion against Legend of Loot Cast. All right, so this is hyper armor that I don't want to deal with. Oh, that's annoying. I didn't think I was gonna get hit there. Whoo, I didn't know he was gonna die in one hit. <clears throat> La maite phrase, hein? Plan Francais. Round 537 against Burn One. Burn one. He remembers me. The meme cream machine. Ah, he's got the hips. He's got the hips, which hurts. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. Oh, there we go. Luckily, he stayed close. If we would have ran away and did a lot of running attacks, I might have been in trouble there, actually. All right, round other. Other 530 other against Sir Rethor. Let's do this. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, huh? Oh, God. Disgusting. I'm going to get out of this world. Get him out of here. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this disgusting weapon. Honestly, um, I don't like it. I, I don't like this weapon. I mean, you saw I was going against... I don't know if I'd consider a meme build against uh, painted phantoms. But, I mean, although that, that shield sort of counters weapons without hyper armor... And slower weapons. So this is a slow weapon that doesn't have hyper armor. Although the weapon art technically does, but it doesn't. It's not active, as you'd imagine. But either way, um, this weapon's not good. Um, as far as the damage, I'm getting pretty decent damage out of there. I mean, if you look at this, so what do I have? 434. And when I buff this up, if I can uh, buff it up, <laughs> thank you. And then two-handed, 640. I mean, even though it's split damage, you're only splitting that at most in half. Most likely in, in a quarter. Uh, I, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Uh, it doesn't matter what the buff is, but that is pretty good. And even without it, 434, two-handed, is pretty decent for an axe. However, I mean... Look at that. The butcher's knife, longer range, S scaling. And I believe you can you buff that? Well, you can sharpen it. Uh man serpent hatchet uh probably does more. I, I actually can check real quick. But like I don't know, like my problem is it's just there's better items out there. So 401, this goes through shields. You could probably have better stats, or I can make this heavy and it'll do more damage. And it's longer. 
Like, there's almost no reason aside from... I don't know what the reason would be to use this over the Man Serpent Hatchet. I honestly don't know. I seriously, like, I don't know why you would... It's shorter. It's just worse in almost every way. I don't know, man. That, stuff like that boggles my mind. Um, I just don't know why. It's just not... It doesn't even do as much damage, really. I... I I don't know. I, I'm disappointed in this weapon, okay? Because you can even buff those other two I mentioned. I'm disappointed. I'm just disappointed in the, if it was, like, faster or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what has the same weapon art. It's just bad. Um, I'm going to give the damage 8.3. I mean, the damage is okay. Uh, move set, trash. Rolling attack, bad. B-A-Y-D, bad. Um... R1 is okay, only because of the range, but this thing has limited range. Run attack, bad. R2, trash. Uh, one hand, I guess it's okay, R1, R2, trash. Moveset is absolutely awful with this. 6.3. As far as weapon art, I mean, weapon art, it gives you more damage. It's technically never a deterrent unless you're stupid, so I can't knock it for that, but it does make the R2... Somehow worse, but maybe better because it does technically have hyper armor. I, it's it's not great. I'm I'm gonna give it a flat eight only because it doesn't really detract. It only really adds, and it does have like a weird property where you can stun somebody on the L2, but that's very fringe case. Uh, viability not viable. This is low, and this is kind of very low to be honest because of the fact that um, it's so short. So it's also slow, but it's so short. It's not just short, it's so short. And the other axes are just only okay. They're not good or great, they're only okay. This is just much shorter, so it's much, much worse. Even if you buff it, it just, it's not that good. You can literally play slightly reserved, outspace it, and just hammer somebody's face down with this. And like, that's how bad it is. I'm gonna give it a 6.1. It is that bad, it really is not good. I'm serious about that. Like, it's bad. Not like you can close the gap. Like, you can't do much with this. It's not a good weapon. I don't know what to say. There's just better... Like, there's straight up 100% better options that give you essentially the same thing, but better. I just... That's the... It gives you... I don't know. I, Man Serpent Hatcher is literally 100% better than this weapon in almost every single way. I don't get it. I just don't... There's no reason to use it. There's no reason. Let me look at my stats real quick. Uh, 35, 35, 10, 40, and 54 intelligence because I also use the Scholar Ring for bonus intelligence. I don't think I showed that earlier, but I am showing it now. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think, and I will be back.